What's up everybody, Kevin Wilds here, and tonight I'd like to talk about powerful pumps. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have issues with loud noise um, coming from your power pole pumps. Um, I talked to power pole about the issue that I was having with the loud pump, and it sounded like this, and I was even on the phone going, and, and going, what's the, and I sound like a, a freaking uh, fire fire truck going eh. but anyways that's how loud and annoying that pump was um that pump over here works great this pump not so good that pole went down quick this one would go really slow and make that screechy loud annoying noise but i was taught on the phone with power pole and they said it sounded like it was a pump issue and then I'd send in my pump and they would uh, rebuild that for me but um since you know, it's malfunctioned, so I decided to take the pump apart myself and see if I can resolve the issue myself without even trying. If, if I can fix it, I don't have to worry about sending it in. So I did fix it. I'm going to have to call Power Pull back, company back and let them know that I resolved the issue so they won't have to worry about it. Um, but I have a little video on this, and uh, let's get lift again. Uh, here's the canister, and this is what all the oil looks like in there, the hydraulic fluid. Um, it's kind of milky and dirty. I'm sure there's debris buildup and underneath it. These, um, these screens right here go down in there. So be careful not to poke those screens when you pull this out. And uh, there was gunk on this. I already wiped them up. Um, usually I just take a nice clean rag and just kind of just wipe them up a little bit. Just be careful when you're doing it. Just don't poke a hole in the screen so you don't get big debris chunks going inside the hole if you accidentally poke a hole through it but just be careful with it just wipe it off there was some gunk on there um just kind of wipe it up a little bit just kind of check those those screens get built up with so much debris that in time it clogs it's like a clogged up sink the water doesn't want to go down same kind of concept so what i'm going to do is dump all this stuff out and clean up this canister I'm just dumping in this pail of crap. You can see all the gunk coming out of there. Look at that big old blob. Okay, so now as you can see, if you look in there, look at all that. That's the buildup. And I got the Sea Monster, the Sea Monster uh, pump. It's really easy. It goes back. It goes in, you know, one way. Just make sure lines this is your uh, black line that goes close to your cap fill your fill and this is the blue line just remember that black line of the fill blue on the out behind here there's like a little regular nut or bolt tiny little bolt not a nut a little bolt so you can get at it because it's really hard to get a screwdriver there but yeah just take those off don't lose those screws put them in a nice safe place um, Pump pulls off pretty easy. That's all I got to do. Okay, so I got everything cleaned out. Um, I cleaned out the canister. I took all the gunk out of there, wiped it all out. Um, I want to just um, bring this to your uh, guys' attention. Um, I'm out of warranty on this um, power pull pump, so I'm not. So I, I said to myself, it doesn't matter if I take it apart, something's already wrong with it, you know, it, no big deal. I'm going to send it in either way and pay for it so if it's out of warranty don't hesitate to do it don't be scared to do it it's not that hard um heck i'm not even afraid to start taking parts off and tearing this whole thing piece by piece if i had to so uh you know that's how you learn that's how you get good at doing what you do um, so i'm gonna pour some uh um iso 32 light hydraulic fluid i picked this up at uh my local um hardware store well, actually, too, don't put any other stuff in there i wouldn't recommend it um Power Pole recommends ISO 32, so that's what I would use, ISO 32. And this stuff is not expensive. You know, I bought a whole gallon of this stuff for like 11 bucks. Get her done, clean her up, and I tell you what, I'm going to put her back together, and, uh, and she's going to work. I know it. I'm confident. Uh, bad boy put back together. Um, uh, just when you do take this apart, 
and before you put it back together, just make sure you check the gaskets. Not, you know, wrecked or anything. If, if so, you can order all the parts from Power Pull. Anything that you need here. Check these caps too. Sometimes they're bad. They don't hold good seal. You know, you know, just make sure they're nice. You can order these at Power Pull too. But uh, I got some new fluid in there. She's pretty clean. Got everything all cleaned out. Oh yeah, nice and clean. Um, I'm pretty stoked. I think I, I resolved the issue. Um, yeah, so that's that's the the deal there. Um, so I'm gonna put it back in my boat. And uh, before she was, it was not working good. Now we're gonna find. I'm gonna find out for sure and uh, see how well I did. We're gonna go test this bad boy out. See how this uh, power pole works. All right, guys. The moment I've been waiting for after uh, taking the pump apart, cleaning out the screen, and I wish I could have uh, videoed the way it sounded before, but I'm sure if any of you having the problems will understand what I'm talking about. But now, see how quiet it is when I just, you know, hit her down. Oh, man. Oh, geez. That's like getting a Christmas present for Christmas. This is what it used to do. And it, it'd go, that's what it used to do. I'm sorry about the sound effects, um, but it was terrible, just terrible. And it wasn't synchronized with the other one over there on the left. So, oh, God, that's so quiet now. So let's do both and see if they go down at the same time. Oops. Don't hit it too many times because it's going to go all the way. Oh, oh, geez, that is so quiet. There you have it, guys. Oops. Hit it up. Up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I love it. She's so quiet. Oh man, she is so quiet. Let's try it faster now. Okay, we're going full max. Oh, it never did that before. Oh, hit the wall. Jeez, look at that. Unbelievable, I love it. Just a little TLC cleaning and poof. There you have it, guys. Well, that concludes the, um, the screen cleaning on the power pole pump. Everybody have a good night and get yourself some power poles or talons, whatever best suits your uh, um, application. Oh, man. All right, see you later, guys.